teacher Anna and I am going to teach you Hi everyone, I am Annalisa Villas and today I'm going to give you my reflection video about TED wherein the topic is all about how to inspire every child to be a lifelong reader. So now let's proceed. Maybe yes, you are asking how? How are we going to inspire those students? I know once in your life, if you are a teacher, once in your life you struggled. You struggled with your um, students who are not into reading. I know how hard is that one because I personally experienced that a lot of times. As a literature teacher, I am always experiencing the sentences like, Oh teacher, I don't like to read. Oh teacher, I don't have time to read. So today, I'm going to give you some tips and advice based on how I handled my students. This reflection video, I add some of my opinions, my experiences, and also I will share to you one of the best way to engage your students to novels. We all know that novels are very long. And uh, it is quite hard for our students knowing they are not readers or they don't love reading. So first thing first, please involve them. Why am I saying that we should involve them? Because sometimes students feel that they are not connected to it they are not into it and especially reading is not literally helpful for them especially if it's like just stories maybe you also feel that's uh, the same thing when you're still under age but involving students when you are involving them when you are trying to explain to them why they need it, how they can um, gather information from it, and how reading helps them to become a better student. I know that it will change their mind from the thinking that it's not helpful to the thinking that it might so let their intrinsic motivation rule them in reading so there are two uh, types of motivation the first one is the intri intrinsic motivation where it's within within us inside us and the other one is the what we call intrinsic uh, extrinsic motivation extrinsic motivation it's uh, from the peers from the teachers from the lessons that they need to accomplish something so that is the difference between the two. And let us let them um, ruled by their intrinsic motivation. Because we all know that uh, doing what you love will help you do it better. And also, don't push them to read what they don't want to read. Yes, we all know that they need to read this one. But make them feel first that they really need to and get their attention like wherein they will say to their own selves that oh I think I need to read this one not only because it is a requirement but because they want to read it and um, from the video that um, uh, the speaker said that Paul Fair said teaching and learning should be two-way yes definitely that's correct it is must it's a must it's not only like should it's a must that it should it is two-way 
Because we all know that students are not baskets or a pail or whatsoever container it is to be filled with facts. But they were. They are co-creators of their own knowledge. Imagine a child. Imagine a child, a student, who really loves to do what he or she is doing. And then, you're going to put something also that he wants to do it. Yes, as a teacher, we need to let them uh, read what we need us to ask from them. Because we are teachers. We have lessons, course out, outlines, lesson plans like that. But just make sure, just make sure your students, your students also will be engaged to it. Not only because it is your requirement, but because uh, knowing that they will learn from it. You may ask them what they want to read because maybe you can, um, you can change the story for that day but you can also put or include the reading skills that you want them to know or to learn but of course freedom with restriction we all know that teachers we are very aware of the things that the students need to and not to so just try to make uh, them involved and hear the intrinsic not yours okay because it is better if we really help them help them to learn on their own pace okay so for that one i want you uh, while i am uh, viewing or watching the video earlier so i come up with the three things that as an educators we need to remember so the first one is the identity not literally mean the identity where he lives something like that but identity wherein what are the things that he or she likes or doesn't like and also it should be relevant relevant for them and most of it it should be it must be engaging if the student is tired already of uh, reading and then your activity is not engaging what will happen do you think they will be motivated to read or continue reading no so to look deeper for that one so identity you're not just going to look at your students as a mere student look at them as a whole as a human wherein they are they have hobbies things that they like things that they don't didn't like Look at them as like that. And from that, from that one, you will know what are those um, genres or um, topics that they really want to read. Because you can do it as a teacher. We are flexible enough. Right? For example, our topic is like um, finding the main idea of the paragraph and its supporting details. Or maybe... We can say that our topic is about um, scheming and scanning. We can, we can bend our materials for our students. Know them, their identity as a whole. Okay? And also, relevant. It should be in time, for their time, age, gender, and of course, for your lesson. It should be, be relevant. It should be, you know, bonded all throughout. So time. For example, now is about COVID. So maybe you can give them um, reading materials about the ways how to manage if you're infected or how to wash your hands properly. Okay? Or maybe you can give them like a journal of a COVID survivor those kind of things if they were already in age if they're already in high school but these don't give um, third graders or grade 3 students journals of COVID survivors like that 
maybe you can give them like a reading material about um, the virus itself like an animated video of that one or you may just include the things for example are like what are the symptoms symptoms so and also gender so if it's gender of course if your student is a boy of course we cannot expect them to like or love fairies butterflies unicorns of course they are boys so you may bend you may bend your reading materials for them of course your lessons just make sure that the reading material that you're going to use will still will still achieve your goal or your objectives okay and engaging it should be engaging it should catch their attention it should not be boring and also improve their peer relationship not only their peer relationship but their self also we need we need to improve how they talk with one another with the classmates the engagement uh, to the classmates and also their own selves self-esteem self-esteem also is a very important part of a student and also always give our best for them do not settle for just better if we can give what's the best for them just give it i know you can teaching is not just merely a profession right it is part of us it is half of us actually right and how are we going to inspire them let us include them involve them and also hear them even though you are the teacher and they are just your students still their opinion matter as a teacher look at your students look at your lessons manage it full heartedly and before i forgot it literature circle if you are discussing a novel if you are discussing a novel kindly introduce a literature circle for your students in a youtube channel i think the name of that youtube channel is christian matthias he prepared there a video of a girl wherein she she explained literature circle and its roles thoroughly you may uh, ask your students to watch it or you may use that as a reference literature circle is a very engaging tool for the learners especially those who doesn't want to read why because you are not just passing through the chapters but you are getting the most out of the chapters you are teaching them not only reading understanding but also being a responsible student okay so if i want you uh, if you want to watch the video about it just search christian matthias and it's a good video i know if you will if you will watch uh, the video you will understand you will really understand so how are we going to make our readers a lifelong readers involved engaged and hear them so that's it for today thank you for listening and that is my reaction video we need to connect with one another it should be from the heart, not from the people around you. If you love what you are doing, you will excel. Thanks for today. God bless and bye.